Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Dot. Yeah, Polkadot uh, has broken out of this corrective price channel here. Um, I think today, actually. Yeah, so Polkadot ha or Dot has broken out. However, it's not enough price action to really confirm that a low has been made. Um, as I've uh, said many times, for a reliable wave two to be complete, I like to see the wave, uh, the fifty percent retracement um, of the wave one, to be reached. You know, it's it's just um, doesn't mean we have to get there, but especially if the movement to the upside after a possible low is very very choppy, it at least allows you to establish trust. So the situation would be a bit different had this move down been to the 50% retracement level and then a break out of a corrective price channel, I would have said, yeah, you know, this looks really good. Um, but the fact that it only touched the 38.2 FIB level, I would like, I would just like to see further confirmation. I'm not saying we couldn't, we couldn't have bottomed. Um, yeah, we could, you know, the wave two absolutely could have completed here. It would have been a WXY structure very clearly. And um, yeah, but again, it wasn't deep enough to be reliable. So even though I'm tracking the 38.2 FIB level as a possible completion, uh, let's say level, yeah, uh, trigger level for a wave two, for a reliable wave two, I'd like to have at least a 50% retracement reached. Note, however, that also down here, end of October, the price only reached the 38.2 FIB level that was at the time the $4.06 level. And yeah, it rallied quite quickly. So it makes sense sometimes to prepare for a shallow wave two, but we don't necessarily want to assume it because it could easily be that this is just a B wave and we come down again in wave C. That's actually at the moment, if you ask me my primary scenario, I would call it an alternative scenario that the wave two has already bottomed, but then I would like to see extended proof which would be a sustained break above $5.64 in the first place, and then a break above $5.90, which is the wave one high, would help to establish further trust. Um, at the moment, yes, we've broken out of the corrective price channel, but that could be, or that could mean that we've just finished the wave A. We are now in a B wave corrective rally. It's only a three wave move up so far. It could get one more high and then we also have an A, B, C structure in wave B complete. So the break above $5.64 is not really super reliable. It's just the level to watch. Um, typically a B wave in most cases shouldn't go beyond it. It's just, however, standard resistance for the B wave. B waves can also overshoot if they want to. So that is absolutely possible. It can be more aggressive and, you know, and so on. But ideally, if this is yellow wave B, then we should see a reaction in this region and a move down in a C wave of wave two next. Ideally targeting $4.58, $4.31, or even $3.96. They are all relevant Fibonacci support levels. There is additional structural support around $4.30. Yeah, that, because that is the previous swing low from June and the previous breakout point. Um, so to really then confirm something more bullish, we want to see a break above those levels indicated. Also bear in mind, I showed you that in one of the previous videos, we actually have a larger trend line coming down here as well, that um, basically the price is still below. So also that would require a breakout, um, but that's all here. That's a cluster of resistances at the moment. And then we could get in the next stage into this target region here between $8.05 and $10.64. Um, but yeah, it's too early to confirm basically a breakout, way too early. We are still below too many resistance levels and also structurally, this is not yet clearly impulsive. So while it could be that a low is in now, um, it is still not very clear to me and it needs further proof. Yeah, I need further evidence to confirm that we are in this third wave rally to the upside. Most important is to understand that as long as we're holding the $3.96 level down there, the 78.6 retrace, um, the focus will be on higher. Okay, that's my update about DOT. I hope you like the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Um, 
on there. You can find additional content every single day and you can find the links for those in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.